Hi everyone! In this video, I'll start Tesla Cybertruck project. As soon as it was presented, I realized that I certainly wanted to make it, especially while assembling Quadra V Tech. I promised that there would be another parallel project, and this time has come. Please don't take this project so seriously. Although I intend to make it as similar as possible in both its look and function, it will be a pilot project for overall development and learning. I've wanted to work with some of the things from this truck for a long time. Of course, it is an electric motor, but it is likely to be a hybrid adjustment. I'm also very interested in pneumatic suspension and construction entirely consisted of metal, frame and body as it was in buggy. I think there will be a lot of ideas along the way, and G also often offers some good things in comments. There will be no donor for this project, as I don't want to adjust to something certain. There will be a fully proportional copy of Tesla. Also, there are no such donors that could fit the project. This can be clearly seen in the example. All sizes of Tesla I derived from two pictures from the official site. I decided not to resort to 3D models made by people on the internet. All of them contain some errors. For the construction, I'll need a slipway or a metal frame on which I'll be assembling Tesla's body. And my project will be started here. I bought for a slipway some shaped tubes 60 by 40 with a wall of 3 mm. Most likely, I'll use them later on the strength elements of the frame, as this pipe is quite rigid. The sizes of the Tesla's bottom are yet unknown, and I'll prepare the slipway with an arbitrary width. I'll also need this iron thing to align the floor plane. At first, I'll make start from it with sizes, it will be such a zero point. To expose the absolute level of the slipway, I used the laser level. I measured height by the corners and welded the legs. The slipway is ready, now we can weld support tracks for the body to it. As the whole frame, I'll be welding them from a square pipe 40 by 40 millimeters. It's kind of logical. Square machine, square pipe. Although, this truck has almost no straight faces. There is a small radius everywhere, which I'll neglect in some parts. A shape will be welded to the racks, which is the widest face in the Tesla's body. The most important point in the design of such support frame for the body elements is the absolute observance of the dimensions accuracy. We need to measure all diagonals so that they coincide up to a millimeter. Of course, they won't coincide at the beginning, but everything easily aligns with a flick of the wrist on the condition of the accurately cut details. I fixed the received result with struts which were welded criss-cross. We need to make the frame rigid, so that the welding and some awkward stumbling over the frame won't ruin the dimensions. Here's our rigid framework. I did the same with the front part. I measured diagonals of the general perimeter of the resulting detail, and they perfectly matched. Next parts will be welded to the roof. For this purpose, I also welded support construction from pipes. Immediately in place, from the body element, I sawed off the excess to obtain the sharp angle. I missed with the size a bit, so I had to continue sawing the part off and put a patch. I welded the alike pipe on the other side.
The back part of the roof is ready. Now we need to make the same with the front part, on which there will be a windshield and a hood. The jumper will connect the vertices of these triangles. Now support can be removed, it's no longer needed here. On this moment, I noticed that the roof looked not so well, but didn't attach importance to it and continued working. For the side elements, we need to make an angle with initially specified degree. According to this template, I'll weld side elements of the faces, but at first, I'll make a starting point, or more precisely, a vertical line which will be called zero. All dimensions of elements position and welds will be laid from it. This line runs vertically through the entire body from the top and ends on the slipway. For the faces of the door, the support construction will be welded. In order the angle will remain correct and one of the pipe walls will be parallel to the template. I'll bend the wheel's arches from one element. I'll just not fully cut the pipe and bend it properly. By the way, there are no parallel lines in the body. All of them have small angle. Despite all its seemingly simplicity, Tesla company was too bothered over developing its truck appearance or has specifically complicated the project to make it not so simple. In the bent pipe, there appeared some holes which I closed with elements fitted under them. I bent the rear arch and failed to fit it in its place. During measuring the frame, I began to search for the mistake and found it. As I was working till the night, I completely forgot about those 5 cm which should be added to each support rack. In order the body won't lie on the slipway and there was a gap just with these 5 cm. I forgot to add them only on the front two stands and the top of the roof. Too bad, of course, but we need to fix it. In general, in the beginning of this project, I made quite a lot of such mistakes. As it is necessary to work with hundreds of sizes and also angles added to it, you need to be very accurate. After the repair, the arch was easily welded in its size. I joined the elements in place. Something began to draw out. On the right side, I also welded these sub assemblies. The main bottom of the door is beyond the support rack. There is nothing wrong with it, but it's impossible to weld the metal on it for now, as the rack can be removed after a full body manufacture. I welded a rear stand where the glass cover of the rear door would end, and the pipe of the top of the doors. I finished with the side elements and moved to the front frame. This part also delivered me hassle, and I made it a few days. After that, we need to weld everything through and smooth out so that the welds can't hinder metal adherence. I covered the frame with anti-corrosive paint because after welding of the sheets, it'd be impossible to make. Well, some minor parts of it will burn while the welding, but it's just the way it is. For the body elements, I'll use conventional hot rolled metal of 2.5 mm. I think there will be a lot of questions about why not stainless steel. Firstly, it's not cheap. Secondly, it's not practical. You can verify reading reviews of DeLorean users, a car from back in the future, which is also made of stainless steel. Although these facts don't work here, as it is an experimental project. I think lots of people would like to see the stainless body. 
Let's make it like this. You can take part in this project, and maybe it's you whom I'll finally thank for changing it. I cannot communicate online, and if this video will get 200,000 likes, I'll change conventional steel to alloy stainless steel. Especially, I'll already have those body element templates. In the meantime, I continue working with conventional metal. Now, I start sheathing the back. I don't have a long ruler, but I got a straight flat board nearby which I decided to use. I'll cut everything out on weight, which is also convenient and I don't need to reach out as on the table. During this video, I wasted 32 cutoff wheels to saw the body elements. I cut two parts at once for both sides of the body. After welding of two elements, I realized it'd be better to weld a large piece and cut all the lines along the existing frame. That will be much easier and all the details will definitely be fitted in their place. I'll weld the sheets between themselves after a complete assembly and most likely using semi-automatic welding. Now, we move to the rear doors. The clearance between parts was made in millimeter for further leveling under 2-3 millimeters. With these sheets, I'll close the front door and the wing at once, and after the welding, I'll divide into two elements. The upper faces of the doors gave a volume view to the body. After that, I welded the hood on the points. The front edge must be rounded. To give it a radius, I welded the pipe to the rear part and pulled the cord to the hood. We got something like circular. I decided not to hurry with the inner radius near the glass. First, I have to ask the glass maker whether he'll be able to cut the windshield according to the hood radius. Then I sheathed the face part with metal. Even if there will be no chance to make laser optics, we can always use LED lens. I found wheels of the right size and with a similar pattern for a good price. They are really worn out, but for the first time, it will be more than enough. Before fitting, I'd like to weld arch expanders to the body, as the body is bent and the arches lay on the same plane. I pulled the cord along the body. The expanders will be laid out according to it. Now we need to lift the body and can try the wheels on. In my opinion, it looks rad. High clearance is also suitable for this car. I can't believe that the model turned out to be so similar and looks so brutal. Anyone who wants to support this project with a minted coin can find all references in the description. And now that's all for today. Thanks everyone for your attention. If you liked this video, share with it, put your thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the following video.